Well, if you've ever been in a rural area with cropland, you've probably seen those small planes flying just above the field called crop dusters. Last year, the National Agricultural Aviation Service registered more than 2,500 crop dusters in the United States. And farmers have used airplanes to spray and plant their crops since the 1920s. Today's planes are faster and the power lines are more plentiful, but modern aerial applicators, as they like to be called, fly the same way they did nearly 100 years ago. This is not your grandpa's crop duster. In fact, these planes aren't even called crop dusters anymore. Today's pilots refer to this business as aerial application. Specialized airplanes spray fields with pesticides or fertilizers to protect the crops. Aerial application is often the most economic and efficient method to apply crop treatments. But the very first aerial application wasn't even from a plane. In 1906, a man named John Chater spread seed from a hot air balloon over a valley in New Zealand. In the 1920s, farmers began using small biplanes to spread arsenic dust over pest in their crops. For decades, aerial application has been a staple in many parts of the United States, from pastures in the plains to rice fields in the south. Today, aerial applicator businesses are still flying high in 46 states across the country. To learn more about ag aviation, visit our website at twilatv.org. Well, moving on to this week's Twila Trivia, last time our question was, which sunscreen ingredient protects the skin by absorbing UV radiation? And the answer is C, oxybenzone. For this week's trivia question, according to the National Ag Aviation Association, which state does not have an aerial application service? Is it A, New Jersey, B, New Hampshire, or C, California? To enter this week's Twilight Trivia Contest, simply log on to your Facebook or Twitter account and post your answer with the hashtag Twilight Trivia. Or you can always submit your answer on our website at twilighttv.org. Well, still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture, Neil Melanson shows us how one Louisiana company did right when its customers had complaints. Stay with us.